eight energy day with a seven of hearts influence in a five energy month and year so today we're still in that loop that i talked about yesterday if you didn't see my forecast yesterday you might want to go and check it out but um we are in that loop still of the seven eight and the momentum of uh releasing attachments really is what this is all about right so today with the um with the seven of hearts influence, we're really looking at releasing those attachments we have in our relationships with others. And attachments are driven by fear. And so really, can we love without the fear? Can we drop the fear? The fear of other people, the fear of losing people, the fear of being discovered by people, you know, for who we truly are, um, all of that, you know, fear of vulnerability. Um, we see so much fear right now in the world about, you know, other people and are they going to make us sick? Are they going to hurt us in some way? Um, and really dropping all that and knowing like no one can ever betray you no one can ever abandon you no one can ever hurt you only you can do that to yourself only you can allow those experiences and call those experiences in and when we take ownership for that and we release our attachment or need for someone to be something for us to give something to us to provide something for us that we actually have within ourselves we have all the love within ourselves that we need you know the seven of hearts on the low side can be about you know feeling um <clears throat> feeling really uh lonely or yeah abandoned you know all those kinds of things that really um we have everything within that we need and really stepping into the higher the higher understanding of that today and going forward you know we're being pulled into a momentum of this so really um and this is the last day of the month so this was really a big theme this whole month of september is going into a, a spiritual level of love and releasing attachment that unconditional love a, a level of love that once attained cannot be lost so once you learn how to love without fear you you don't go back and the invitation today is to consider, be willing, be open to learning what that's about and learning how to do that even just 1% more today. How can you, you know, drop fears and expectations and all of that and really allowing that self, that, that vulnerability to come in and know that you're safe in doing